do I set this up? Who can help me out? Maya, how do I set it up? You just hit the screen and then hit apps. All right. Yep, I put my three outside. Outside, So I have my whole number in the middle, which is 53, and we are dividing by three. All right, so my first step is going to, figure, is going to be figuring out how many times three goes into five. Who, who can tell me? How many times does three go into five? Everyone. One. One. So three times one is what? Three. Five minus three is? And then I need to bring down my three. Ooh, what about this one? How many times does three go into 23? Maddie? Seven. Seven. Three times seven is what? 21. So I have a little extra. That's all right. Because 23 take away 21 is going to be two. So my answer is what? 17 with the remainder of 2. Yep, I have my remainder up here. All right, so we have to check this one because that's what our, if we look back up at our instructions, it says solve using the standard algorithm. We got that part done, but now we need to check it using multiplication and addition. So let's scooch on down here. How, how do I check these? What do I always do? I always start with one thing. Garrett, what do I start with? Yep, I start with my quotient, which was 17, and then I multiply it by what? Jacob? How many groups you had? How many groups I had? And in this case, I had three groups. So 17 times 3. All right, this is easy math. We can do this. 3 times 7 is? 21. 3 times 1? 3. Plus 2? 5. Fifty-one. All right. Am I done? No. What do I have? To, what do I have to add? Remainder. Josie. Um, fifty-one plus two. Yep. I have to add my remainder. So fifty-one plus two, which gives me an answer of fifty-three. Does this answer match our whole? Yes. Yes. So we are good to go, and we can keep on moving. All right. Let's set up number six. Let's put what in the middle? 95. Who can tell me why we put 95 in the middle? Kaylee? Your whole Our whole number always goes in the middle. Good job. And we are dividing by what? Four. Four. How many times can four go into nine? Two. two. You got it. Four times two is? Eight. Nine take away eight is? One. And then what do I have to do? Bring down my five. How many times can four go into 15? Three. Three times? All right. Four times three is? Twelve. Twelve. Fifteen take away twelve is? Three. Do I have anything left to bring down? No. Nope. So three is my what? Remainder. remainder. So that gives us an answer of 23 with a remainder of 3. All right, we have to do what, though? You have to check your work. We have to check our work. So how do I check my work? 23 times 4. In any problem, how do I check my work? What do I always start with? The quotient. The quotient. The quotient. Thank you, Jacob. The, oh, I'm going to wait a second until I have everyone with me. All right, our quotient. In this case, what is our quotient? 93. 23. And I have to multiply 23 by my number of groups. In this case, how many groups do we have? Four. four. All right, so four times three is? Twelve. Four times two? Eight. Plus one? Nine. All right, but I still have one more step. I have to add something. Your remainder. Your remainder. So my remainder was 3, so 92 plus 3 is? 95. All right, does, our, does this problem and our whole match? Yes. yes. So we are good to go. All right, I am going to let you guys do the back page of the problem set by yourself or
or with a partner, and then we will check our answers. You may begin.